What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here with another unboxing video for you. Again, I apologize for the length of time it's taking me to get these videos out to you. Um, I've been so busy with work, but I wanted to get this box open because it's been sitting in my car for like a week now and I definitely owe it to myself and to you guys to get this thing open. So, today I'm going to be unboxing the 2015 May Comic Con box. This was actually, I think, the last subscription box that I ordered that was like kind of the geeky, nerdy kind of box. Um, I saw a couple unboxing videos and it was kind of intriguing. I don't know if I'm going to be super into the stuff in here because um, I know it's like really random. It's all across the board, but it is extremely heavy, so I'm really excited. Size comparison to the Loot Crate. Uh, let's see. It is a little bit wider. Same height to the boxes, so very similar, yet yeah, this one's a lot heavier than the Loot Crate was. I'm trying to make these videos shorter because a lot of people complain that they're too long, so check out the details below if you want pricing information. I'll have everything there for you. Let's go ahead and get this box open. Alright, once you open the box, this is what you're going to see. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it looks like a giant mustache. Huh. Okay, first item that I saw. It is a giant mustache. Mm -hmm. I always get brown, but there's a ton of different styles and colors. I would have loved if I got like the purple one, since purple is my favorite color, but this is still cool. I'm going to hang this in my office. I already have a black one, so they can be friends. The second item that we have, which is why this thing was so heavy, is this giant mug. Ooh! It's an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. mug. I've actually never seen this show before, but I heard it was really good. And this is a really big mug. It's way bigger than the one I got in, I think, my power-up box that had a fox on it. This one's, this one's very big. I, I could actually use this, and I really like this, so... Very nice. That's probably why, that's obviously why the box was so heavy. Third item, it is a Mashems, a Marvel's Mashems. You know, I'm not going to open this because these things are a little bit weird for me and I'm not grossed out by them, but I hate when you drop these things and they get really, really dirty. So I'm just going to put this into my prize box. Um, it is a mystery one, so I don't know what's in it. It feels really big. I'm going to say it's probably like Hulk because I always get Hulk things in these things. So. Alright, the next thing we have is Avengers Kree Scroll War. It's uh, nine cards per pack. I can't imagine what kind of cards they are. I guess I'll open these ones. They're just like random cards. They look like like pieces of comic books. Um, and then on the other side it looks like a puzzle, maybe? I'm not really sure. These will go into the prize box too, because I don't know what these are. And I don't really have a need for these. Ooh! We got a Lego Movie luggage tag. I like this. This is cool. You can um, put your information here. <gasps> Love it. I really like this a lot. Very nice. All right. We got Con TV. It's a free two week trial. For Con TV. I guess that's like a Comic Con channel, I suppose. Something of that sort. Whoa. <laughs> Alright, the next thing we got it's a Halo Master Chief helmet. Oh, it's one of those pop out puzzles. Oh, neat. It's like the 3D puzzles, but it's metal. Oh, neat. Oh, that's cool. It looks challenging. 14 and up, it must be pretty challenging because that's old. <laughs> but it says no tools necessary, no tools or glue. So I can't wait to try to, I'm going to try to put this together. I don't play Halo, but that's still cool. Alright. Let's do the shirt. The shirt looks like this. It looks like an old man Mario uh, who's controlling a robot Mario wearing his overalls. Or, no, actually, that's a Mickey Mouse. Oh, maybe this is Walt Disney? 
He kind of looks like Mario, but I guess maybe this is Walt Disney and he's controlling like a robot Mickey Mouse? I don't know. Um, this is a men's medium, so I think they didn't have women's sizes or I changed it. But that's a neat shirt. I don't really know what it is, but it's still cool. Alright, the next item that we have is... It's a signed picture of Brett Dalton as Grant Ward from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I don't watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but I assume he's pretty famous, so that's super cool. I really do like this. It's cool that they even have this in here, and I saw that... I saw this in some of the unboxing videos, which kind of intrigued me, which is one of the reasons why I subscribe to this box. I might have to start watching this show now. He's probably going to be my favorite character. It looks like there's uh, one more thing in here. So it came in a pack. When you take it out, there's this, it's like a cardstock or like a small cardstock poster of Iron Man and Batman. It says Comic-Con box on the bottom. So this is an exclusive item for them. I like that. And then, oh, there's two comic books. They're both Secret War, Secret Wars by Marvel. They both have the Comic-Con box logo on the bottom. So they're probably Comic-Con exclusives, or Comic-Con box exclusives. Oh, they're like the same one. It's just this one's in color and this one's in black and white. That's weird, a little bit. I mean, I, I don't know, I don't collect comic books, so maybe that's like a thing. So the last thing is just the postcard that tells you what you got. And, you know, some people might overlook this, but this is actually, I really like when boxes have this because it... It basically confirms everything that you got to make sure that you didn't miss anything. Because um, I'm sure these boxes are packed by hand, so there's always that chance that there might be something missing from your box, and you really wouldn't have any idea unless you watched unboxing videos or you checked this postcard. So, um, it had the... Oh, it's box number two. I didn't realize that this is the second box that they've ever had. Um, the theme was Assemble. Uh, oh, that makes sense. Okay. So, it had the Metal Earth 3D Metal Kit, um, and I think, oh, mine's a Halo helmet. In this picture, it has an R2-D2, which I would have loved to get, but that's okay, because it's still cool. I had the Secret, the Marvel Secret Wars comic book, uh, the No Strings T. Uh, they called this poster a Billionaire Playboy's Team-Up. Um... Oh, they don't even tell you everything that you got in the box. It just says some of the stuff. So, cool. Um, I think I paid about $30 for this box. I don't really remember off the top of my head, but I think it was about $30. Um, I did like this box, actually. I think it came with, like, really um, sp special items that you can't buy. So, like, this is something that you obviously can't just buy at the store. Um, and there's a lot of different exclusive things. Um, but it's also mixed in with cool, like, items that you could buy, but probably would never think of buying. I, actually, yes, I do like a lot of this stuff. Um, I'm going to rate this box, I'm going to give it a solid four noobs out of five. So four out of five noobs. Um, even like this thing, which I don't even watch, or I mean, I don't even play Halo. I still want to build it just because it's cool. Um, and I love the mug. And I love the mustache. Um, I didn't really care for the cards and the mashems, which are basically the filler items. Obviously, I like the bigger items in the box, but I do like this. I don't know who this guy is, but I still like it. I like anything that's autographed by a famous person. I think that's cool. Um, I love this poster. The comic books are all right. Um, not a huge fan of comic books. I'll take a look at it, read it, see if it's really worth a lot. And if not, then I'll put that... Uh, in my work library. Love the mug again and all these things. So yeah, I would give this a solid four noobs out of five. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I apologize for taking so long to post these videos. Hopefully once things settle down, I'll have videos posted uh, quicker than it's been taking me. Um, I This is actually the last box that I have for May. Um, that is like a geek nerd box. I do have a gizmo crate coming up 
Um, I, I think I'm supposed to be receiving that tomorrow, which I'm really excited about because they got new owners, so it seems like they have cooler things in their box, even with the higher price tag. But um, yeah, this was my last May box. I think some of my uh, June boxes are already getting shipped, so that's exciting. Um, Non-stop action for you guys. And yeah. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, feel free to subscribe to my channel, or you can just check out my channel and see all the other ones that I've posted. Well, yeah, that's all I have for you right now. Uh, thanks again for watching, and happy beginning of the summer. If any of you guys are recreation peeps, good luck with summer camps and summer programming, and I guess I'll see you guys around. Bye!